Some time ago I made this toolbox with two top compartments that opened up and gave access to a larger bottom box. But I gave it away as a gift and ever since then I've been living without a proper toolbox. So today we will make a new one and incorporate a clip tenon joint and the cool hinge joint we came up when making the bed table project. Let's get started by loading the plywood sheet on the CNC. For this build I'm using a 9mm plywood and I'm cutting the sheets with a 3mm straight flute router bit in one pass. This allows me to skip the dog bones. The idea is simple. Since the chips pack into the groove, the parts don't move around. Super handy approach to cut the parts tabs free. I'll share the exact cut settings on the screen so you can try it out on your project as well. It doesn't take long before we have the parts made and can continue with the next steps. Usually at this time we run the trim router to smoothen the component edges. But before we get into that we have to glue together the parts for the toolbox handle. Simply spread out the glue and clamp the parts together. Now we can start working on the component edges. This time I'm using a 45 degree chamfer bit mainly because it has a smaller tracing bearing and that will be helpful when working on the hinge joint cutout. But before that we have to carefully trim the edges for the clip tenon component. We have to pin the clip end to the work surface to keep it from wobbling around or snapping off. This means my fingers are way too close to the blade, which isn't ideal. Using a push block to hold the clip in place would have been a smarter approach. But once the clips are complete, we can move on with the next parts, including the toolbox sides, which have the hinge cutouts. This is where the small trace bearing comes into play, and we can easily fit the cutter inside a cutout. Soon we have the parts complete, and we can take off the clamps from the handle glue up and give this part a quick pass on the router as well. Now we are ready for assembly. And we have to start by adding the handle to the box top component and securing it with a couple of screws. It won't be accessible later. With the handle in place we can add a small wall component and a shelf part. The wall will serve as a divider for the shelf compartments. Again, we have to secure these parts together before the next steps. Later the screw holes won't be accessible. Now we can add the assembly to the toolbox back. Simple tenon joints help us align everything. Then we can add the floor panel and install the box front part. To complete the main body of the box we have to trap everything between the side parts. Before attaching the other side component the front door panel needs to be added. Simply put the tenon inside the circular cutout and clip it in place so it doesn't move around too much. With both sides in place we have to secure everything with a handful of screws. Even though the CNC joints turned out quite snug, the screws will ensure the toolbox won't come apart while carrying it full of goodies. Finally it's time to test out how well the joinery works. The clip joint is nice, not too stiff and not too loose, just right for easy opening and snappy closing. And the hinge joint? It looks remarkable and it keeps the door panel horizontal which creates a small working table great for quick intricate tasks. With the joints reviewed let's assemble the drawers. These are super simple. Just four wall parts joined with a mortise and tenon joint. Everything is secured in place with a handful of screws. This design allows for easy and quick assembly. Now we can simply slide the drawers in place and we have the toolbox made. Simple, durable and with a nice design detail. The clip joints make it super satisfying to open the box. The lid when open creates a nice little surface which is perfect when placing or taking items out of the box. The drawers are perfect for the smaller items. And the gap between the shelf and the drawers, just the right size for easy access to the toolbox contents. But the best part, this one is staying in the Ribobox workshop. 
If you want to make your own, the project files are on aribobox.com. And since it's Black Friday weekend, everything is 50% off. So if you're looking for fun and useful projects to make on your CNC, perhaps you would like to check that out. It's a perfect way to get something for yourself while supporting our channel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the toolbox build as much as I did. Thanks for watching, stay creative and I'll see you next time.